What's up, internet? I'm Yoshi on the go, and Apple's back on the channel, baby. That's right. For the first time in a very long time, we're bringing Apple stuff back to the channel. The bread and butter from the Steve Jobs Theater in Cupertino, California. And it just started. We are live streaming. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Steve Jobs Theater. Did I literally just click play as it started? Today's going to be a very different kind of event. Very different kind of event. We've got some really exciting things to share with you, and we're going to have some fun along the way. So let's get going. Well, let's get going. Apple is so, creating world class hardware. So, yeah, Apple. Um, Dropped some pretty excellent stuff last week. New IMAX that I'm particularly excited about. Oh, clap. Yep. <laughs> clap. Everyone clap. So what is a service? What is a service? Well, if you look at the entire photo library available across all of your devices, anytime, anywhere, safe and protected. Safe and protected, but inaccessible if you have a corrupted library. And we offer communication services like messages. Messi and iMessage is legendary. I'm, mm, mm, yeah, yeah. We provide services that help you locate your devices with Find My iPhone. Which, which is useful. Yeah. I'm hoping they talk about TV stuff. And wherever you are. So let's get started with Apple News. Okay. I do frequent Apple News pretty much every day, so. The number one news app. That's awesome. I, I approve. I read a lot of Apple News, so. Apple News has become an like many of you. I love the feeling of being at the newsstand. Subscription. Netflix today, subscription for magazines. We're going to do just that. We're bringing magazines to Apple News. All of these magazines come to life in an all new service that we call Apple News Plus. Okay. Apple News Plus will bring you over 3,000 magazines across all, so, sorry, 300 magazines. Ooh. <laughs> across all sorts. Whoopsie. <laughs> We've got magazines for just about every passion under the sun. Got the gaming Apple magazines? Apple Plus is the only place where you will find all these magazines in a single package. $10 a month. I'm best, I'm getting, guessing. Is that a onesie? The same great Apple News. Dude, this guy's wearing a onesie. Ah! <laughs> it's got trending stories. So we created the live cover. Check this one out. Tonight. Nice. It's very Harry Potter-like. I'm a fan. Play such a big part of magazines. We really wanted to give the titles their ability to express their own I just, I just can't. Their design <laughs> this onesie product. jumpsuit is so... This is really a great example. This is essence design. Peculiar for an Apple keynote. So it looks great here on the phone. I've like never seen phone. this before at an Apple keynote. This is that's just weird. I'm gonna open up I like the whiteness phone though. Phone. It's a it's a very clean look, but it's just a onesie? At an Apple keynote? <laughs> I mean okay, but, but like looks <laughs> here too, and nicely adapted to the larger size. We don't know what you read, and in addition to that, we don't allow advertisers to track you. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Must subscribe. If you were to subscribe to all of these individually, it will cost you over $8,000 per year. But with Apple News Plus, you pay $9.99 Yep, called it. Called it. Called it. Called it. I so called that. It's not bad. 120 bucks a, a year. And that's not just for you. We thought this was so important. We decided to make this available to your entire family with family sharing. sharing at no extra charge. That's awesome. Yes. 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 Each person in your um, I write the Apple News Plus announcement at 10 out of 10. That's it's great. Now let's talk about Apple Pay. Hmm. What about Apple Pay? I love Apple. Apple Pay is so great. It's, I love it. It's great. So good. That we're bringing Apple Pay to transit in major cities in the U.S., starting right here on the West Coast with Portland and rolling out in Chicago and New York City later this year. Cool. That doesn't really affect me personally, but that's good news for commuters. 
on success and momentum of Apple Pay, we've learned a lot. While we all need them, there's some things about the credit card experience that could be so much better. Like simplifying applications, eliminating fees, lowering interest rates, offering clear and compelling rules. Apple Bank? Are, are they are they about to introduce an Apple Bank? Security and the privacy that people have come to expect. That's interesting. Bank. By bringing together our hardware, software, and services, we're going to do all of this and so much more, changing the entire credit card experience. Today, huh. we're introducing a brand new service, and we call it Apple Card. Huh. And you can start using it right away. That's nice. That's nice. You can use it but so is it, it's not a... With Apple Pay. In apps and stores on the so it's not a physical card. Apple Card will be available across all of your Apple devices. And the wallet app has completely new capabilities. So you can see everything you need to know about your Apple Card, like what you've spent, how much you've spent, That's cool. where, and when your payment is due. That's great. We've also made it's it pretty really good. easy to get help. Cryptic merchant names that are pretty hard to decipher. With Apple Card, we use machine learning and Apple Maps to transform this mess into names and locations that you'll recognize. <laughs> I, yeah, okay, okay. I haven't run into that issue too many times, but like every once in a while I will. I'll, I'll have this random purchase like, what is this $25 purchase at this one location? Like what? And you can keep so. track of your spending by categories. Like food, oh, cool. drink, shopping, entertainment, and more. Nice. Where each category is represented by its own color, like orange for food and drink. And Apple Card also also shows you how your spending is trending Whoa. week over week or month over month. So you can decide in real time if you need to or want to change your spending. With Apple Card. Yes. You get cash back. Yes. And you get it every day. It's my favorite yes. feature. Yes. And we call it daily cash. Yes. Anytime you pay using Apple Card, you get daily cash. Not a month from now, but every day. So every day you spend, cash is added to your Apple, added to your Apple Cash Card, huh. which is also in the wallet app. Huh. And it's cash, like real cash. So you can do anything with it. Real cash. <laughs> you need to pay down your balance, spend it wherever you use Apple Pay, or send it to friends using messages. You purchase services like Apple Music or Music or News Plus, you get 3% daily cash. Wow. All right. Our goal is to help you save on interest. So we start by making it easy to see a range of payment options. That's great. And because Apple And you can just like twirl it around in real time as you select different payment amounts. You can make a more informed payment decision, understanding the true cost. Wow. Another way to That's so nice of them. Is to pay more often, say bi-weekly or weekly. So we've added the flexibility to schedule more frequent payments. Wow. So Apple Card does not have any fees, no late fees, no annual fees, no international fees, and no over-limit fees. No fees this, is, this is pretty... Wow. For those rare times when you happen to be somewhere where Apple Pay is not yet accepted, we designed something for that too. And you know when we physical card? something, we designed it to be the best and we'd like to show it to you now. Like a physical credit card? Made out of metal? An aluminum credit card? <laughs> a metal credit card. <laughs> That's cool. The card is titanium. Titanium. Is laser it's the most beautifully designed card ever. <laughs> and your Apple card is more secure. Wow.
I'm pretty impressed. A little dubious. Still a little bit skeptical. I rate the new Apple Card and Apple Pay stuff. 8 out of 10. Like the most significant change in the credit card experience in 50 years. And we can't yeah, that's true. They, they just iPhoned now the credit card. <laughs> the App Store. <laughs> iOS has become the largest gaming platform in the world. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's good, though. Nintendo for life, baby. A service that is giving them hmm. the freedom to do the best. Raw Fury is making the that one pixel art game. Apple Arcade. Uh oh. I don't know about this, guys. Games that redefine games, like Mario and Zelda and Pokemon, and Halo and games that you're not going to get anywhere else. Over 100 new and exclusive games that will raise the bar for what's possible in gaming. You won't find these. Yeah, that's hyperbole. Any other mobile platform or in any other subscription. Well, that's not true. Several of these games are on Nintendo How Switch. Can you get to Apple Arcade. <laughs> Apple Arcade Lies. Arcade. I already yeah, I already don't I already don't like this at all. Um while it, great in theory to be able to access all these games, I just don't like renting games. If I want to play a game maybe that I'm not so sure about, yeah, sure, fine, I'll borrow it or or I'll rent it or something. But like I want to own my stuff. For the same reason I don't subscribe to Apple Music or Spotify or any of that stuff. I want to own my stuff. Um and what happens when the game isn't available, then, oh, see you later. But what happens when you stop paying? Then you lose access to all your games. What happens if I don't buy Halo anymore? Nothing, because I already own it, right? What, what happens if I don't buy Mario Odyssey again or Zelda again? Nothing, because I already own it. So I... Three out of ten. Let's start with what you watch. Beginning with movies. All the new releases and the massive iTunes movie catalog. So easy to browse and you can play all of it right inside the Apple TV app. No more bouncing from app to app. Okay. I guess that's slightly more convenient, but I mean, I, I'm not really impressed. <laughs> also created. You can start my free trial right here. It's just a couple of clicks and then I'm done. $11 a month. That was so easy. Ugh. Her voice is very nasally and annoying. Like, very... Mm. And I can start watching... Quick look at the new Apple TV app. It's the best place to watch TV. I'm very underwhelmed with this, and her noise is just... Her, 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 her noise... <laughs> her voice is just an irritating noise, and I hate it. I'm so excited to tell you that for the first time, we're bringing the Apple TV first app time. to the Mac this fall. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll applaud that. And that's not all. We know you're going to want this great experience on every screen in your home. So we're doing something we've never done before. They're bringing it to Amazon and... Bringing the Apple TV app to smart TVs. Okay. I was going to think like other, other smart devices, but specifically just smart TVs. We're even bringing the Apple TV there we go. To Roku and, and Fire. Amazon, yep. So okay. Can have an Apple TV experience on every screen. It's bold. It's bold. Oh, my light just died. Look at that. Womp womp. So not, not bad. It's got some decent announcements there, but I'm really underwhelmed, honestly. So I don't know. Five out of ten? Yes. How would products help people express their creativity? and to tell their stories because great stories can change the world disney to create a new service unlike anything that's been done before disney plus apple tv plus <laughs> Gosh. Ooh. apple tv plus this better be good this better be a good one guys oh wow they have chris evans there that's cool. The best stories ever told. They, are they bringing the Bible to Apple TV? <laughs> Life often makes no sense. There's something about JJ, the Jage. That gives a sense of order 
and purpose share with an audience. Hey. If I'm thrilled, it's OP. That's a good sign. If I'm laughing, that's a good beginning. Imagine if you were this person, and imagine if you lived in that world. If Legally Blonde 3 confirmed uh, as an Apple TV Plus exclusive. How are you going to create that and into the story that you're telling? Okay, I, yeah, I get the movie stuff. Can we just get to the service, please? I'm a, I'm a movie maker. I need to make I need to make more short movies. You know, I'm going to finish my script for my A Quiet Place fan film that I should have finished like a year ago. <laughs> Can you hurry up with it? I want to know what this is. I think this is if if this is what I think it is, I think it's I think I'm going to like it. Oh. Hello. We've got a Steve back on stage again. That's great. Is he going to announce the the exclusive Halo project for Apple TV Plus? Would Microsoft go for that? I don't know. Okay. We're going to get the Jage on the stage now. Okay. Okay. So everyone's everyone's here. Ah, Steve. Another Steve. Two Steves in one Apple conference. Woo! <laughs> All right. Who's next? The Jage. The Jage, please, JJ. Please, 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 JJ. Oh, okay, Jason Momoa is cool too. From the unfettered imagination of Stephen Knight, C takes place in a world in which the Earth was devastated by a virus that left only a few million survivors. And those survivors, each and every one of them, emerged blind. Our story begins centuries later, at which point the human race has existed for so long without sight, it's disputed whether such a thing ever existed. Without sight, would it change who I am? This is a world constructed unlike any you've ever experienced. Fascinating. See. Wow. That's, that's fascinating. That's absolutely fascinating. Huh. Oh, it's this guy. The Jage! Woo! I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> the Jage is back on stage. Make us believe anything is possible. From documentaries to dramas, from kids to comedies, the highest quality of storytelling in one single place. This is Apple TV Plus. Cool. But how much does it cost? Let's, are they going to talk about that? So excited to share our vision of Apple TV Plus and can't wait for you to experience it for yourself. Thank you and back to Tim. Thanks, everybody. So is it free with uh, Apple devices? There has never been a moment quite like this one. We have this unique opportunity to rise to our best selves in how we use and choose to use both our technology and our humanity for our common good to leave this world more enlightened kinder and better than we found it and to move together one billion plus strong into a future of our own design all connected through Apple! <laughs> Apple! Get ready for the memes, Oprah. Apple! <laughs> That's cool. So Apple TV Plus, um, I rate a 10 out of 10. But how much is it? What a fun morning. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, honestly. Um... Apple Arcade, very underwhelming, not impressed at all. Apple TV app, meh, but Apple News Plus, Apple Pay, Apple Card, Apple TV Plus, very look, very much looking forward to. So we're going to, thank you, bye-bye. Peace out. We got two Steves on stage. Pretty good conference overall. Very different than any Apple conference that I've ever experienced.
This I would consider personally on the same level as that iPhone announcement from Steve Jobs back in January 2007. I mean, they just revolutionized news and magazines. They just revolutionized the uh, credit card and the bank industry. They're kind of treading similar ground with what Microsoft and Nintendo is already doing. So I'm not, I don't really care about that. I don't care about subscription video games. So Apple joining the ranks of, of Netflix and Amazon and Disney, while not necessarily revolutionary, their approach to it is fascinating, although we didn't get a pricing for Apple TV Plus. But yeah, this is a this is one of the most impressive Apple keynotes in a very long time. So thanks for watching. I'm Yoshi on the go. Apple's back, baby. <laughs>